Right, we're on page 30, um, and we're going to be solving uh, ax squared minus c equals 0 by using square roots. And so in the previous video, uh, we just covered, uh, we did a crash course basically on how to uh, deal with square roots there. And so we're going to use that knowledge um, to uh, answer or to find the solution to, uh, to these quadratic equations here. Um, this is going to be a little bit different from uh, what we were doing when we were factoring these quadratic expressions. Um, so please pay attention here. Okay, so taking a look at question number one on page 31. You can go ahead and read that explain section with the examples if you'd like. Um, but if you're here for the explanation of the problems, um, what we're going to do first is we're going to um, is we're going to go ahead and um, isolate the variable on one side by itself. So we want to get rid of this this six first. So we're going to we're going to do is subtract six from both sides to start us off. And so what that'll do is that'll leave the three x squared on the left hand side. On the other side, you have twenty seven. Once we're there, we're going to divide both sides by three to further uh, isolate that variable. And what that'll do is that'll leave us with x squared equals 9. And then uh, we're going to square root both sides. And just like we learned on the previous video, um, when you do that, you're going to be left with a plus or minus version of that root, which is plus or minus 3. Okay, so your answer becomes plus or minus 3. So the exact so if we're filling out the answer here, the exact solutions are x equals positive 3 and x equals negative 3. That's simple enough, right? Question number two. So uh, we're going to um, add 9 to both sides to isolate that variable x. And that way we'll have 5x squared here. And on the other hand side, we'll have 6 plus 9 equals 15. And then uh, we're going to divide both sides by 5 by that coefficient. And that way, uh, this gets simplified to x squared equals 3. And then square root both of those to get to the root, which is plus or minus the square root of 3. Okay, so the exact solutions are um, x equals uh, positive square root of 3 and negative square root of 3. Um, but if you punch into the calculator, you would get an approximation that happens to be 1.73 and negative 1.73. Okay? So, there we go. Question uh, page 31. I think that was the last question for this video.